High resolution real time ultrasound has proven to be an extremely valuable tool in identifying various pathologies in the newborn. Because it is portable and can be quickly performed, particularly in unstable premature infants, it is nearly always the initial examination of choice for identifying various pathologies like intracranial hemorrhages, periventricular ischemic lesions, congenital anomalies, and so on. Intracranial hemorrhage Early in gestation, the germinal matrix lines the entire ventricular system, which peaks at around 23 to 24 weeks. Towards the end of the second trimester, Involution of this germinal matrix begins and by 28 to 32 weeks it remains only at the chordothalamic groove and hence in a term neonate beyond 36 weeks the germinal matrix ceases to exist and you do not get germinal matrix hemorrhages in term infants. So that's the chordothalamic groove, the junction between the blue dotted and the pink dotted line which is the anatomical site which needs to be scanned when you are looking for these hemorrhages. Cerebral circulation in a preterm infant is in a pressure passive state that is there is absence of autoregulation and hence sudden hypotension can give rise to a rupture of these fragile vessels because of absence of autoregulatory mechanisms. Most important risk factor being gestational age less than 30 weeks and birth weight less than 1500 grams. The classic side being the subependymal germinal matrix. So, the widely followed grading of intracranial hemorrhage, wherein grade 1 is the germinal matrix only, grade 2 is germinal matrix and intraventricular without any dilatation of the ventricles, grade 3 is hemorrhage with ventricular enlargement seen, and grade 4 is involvement of the surrounding parenchyma in addition to germinal matrix and intraventricular hemorrhage. Now this intraparenchymal blood actually is hemorrhagic infarction within the periventricular adjacent brain parenchyma. So that's grade 1 wherein the bleed is restricted to the germinal matrix as seen on the coronal and the sagittal section. There is no intraventricular extension. Grade 2, here you can see intraventricular extension on the left side without any dilatation. Here you can see dense echogenic uh, blood within the brain parenchyma surrounding the right lateral ventricle. So this goes to grade 4. You have a bit of dilatation of ventricle seen here. And here you can see the ventricle, the blood filling the entire ventricle which is seen like a cast of the ventricle. And here you have midline shift accompanying a grade 4 hemorrhage. Intracranial hemorrhage is easily and quickly picked up on cranial neuro ultrasound and this remains the commonest indication of doing an ultrasound in the NICU setting. Thank you.